Hello, my name is Harrison Leonard Jr. I'm from an English composition class that is taught by Mr. J. Schiffer. This video will be talking about the biggest rivalry between Mario and Sonic, the two most iconic characters in the gaming community, gaming community right now. I'm going to be talking about their games, their shows, movies, and comics that are still going on today. Both series have brought a lot of entertainment for gamers that grew up from the 80s through the 90s. From all the research that I have gathered, Mario is better in terms of game, but Sonic is better in terms of shows. Let's get to know these two characters a little bit more. Starting off with Mario. Mario is a fat plumber who wears blue overalls and wears the color red. And he is a very strong guy considering that he can lift a giant turtle monster, jump higher, run faster, and hold his breath longer than a normal human. Mario usually teams up with his brother Luigi and lots of other characters, but mainly Luigi who is taller and has the same abilities as Mario to defeat the main antagonist, Bowser. Bowser is a giant turtle monster who is the king of all the Koopas and commands them to defeat Mario while he takes the princess. He also can breathe fire and has different forms of himself. Mario, the game, the platformer, is very fun where you, the hero, will be placed in different situations in a variety of game titles to save people from different situations and or from his spin-off games to be fully engaged in a variety of competitions where you are challenged by different characters in different sports competitions. Some of the games that fall in this genre is using Mario Party and Mario Brothers. Now that we're all done with the information from Mario, let's move on to Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog is a blue hedgehog with red sneakers who can run at the speed of sound. Sonic usually teams up with his friends, Tails, Knuckles, Shadows, and etc. to take down the antagonist Dr. Eggman. Dr. Eggman is a fat human scientist with the IQ of 300 and he uses his smarts to capture little animal creatures and put them into robots to capture Sonic. Sonic games are a fast-paced platformer that will take you on several adventures to defeat the antagonist Eggman to save little creatures that are either trapped in robotic machines or in a capsule that Sonic has to destroy in order to free them. Now that we're done getting to know each of these characters, time to move on to like when this all started. Mario and Sonic's rivalry started around 1991. This is the time where Sonic games or Sonic's game was being released. The rivalry started because of Sega and Nintendo competing against each other around the late 80s to the early 90s. The company Sega was founded in 1960 in Tokyo, Japan, and they are the publisher of the Sonic game series and lots of other games. And the company of Nintendo was founded in 1889 in Kyoto, Japan, and they are the publishers of Mario games. Mario is better in terms of his game as opposed to Sonic. Mario games are in the top 10 most sold games for the three of his titles from this chart that I'm showing right now. If you look at the bottom right there, they actually appear three times. And those games are Super Mario Bros, Mario Kart Wii, and New Super Mario Bros. And as far as all this list is considered, I do not see any Sonic games that have reached to this point of being the most sold games. Mario just has too much variety over Sonic. Sonic may have variety in his games, 
um, as to such like Sonic Pinball, Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing, and Sega Superstars Tennis. But these games weren't as popular as the Mario games that are still being made today. Even though that Sonic may be losing the race in his games, but what he hasn't lost the race in is his comic books and his TV series that are still being made today. This show right here that I'm, that I'm showing right now is Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom is still being made today and it's still going on right now along with Sonic Media Adventures. These are the most newest shows that are being made by Sonic. While on the other hand, Mario shows currently right now have not been made. The only thing that has been made was the the Super Mario Bros. show, which hasn't aired in quite a while, and they haven't made anything new since, unless you want to count the Cat Peach show, which I don't think has, which has aired, but I'm not sure when, but that's currently the newest one, which it aired around 2014. This right here is the Archie comics of Sonic the Hedgehog. These are still being made out today considering that I heard that Sonic had a new form called the Ultra Sonic form. That form is very powerful and this series is very amazing and it's still going on today. The Mario comics did in fact get, did come out but they were not as successful as the Sonic series, Archie, the Archie series. I went back and looked out for them. I could not really find the comic book for the Mario series. But as far as the Sonic series, this one is just booming. Now we're finally off to the conclusion, which is that Mario is in fact better in games, but Sonic with his more flashier look and everything, his shows are bound to be a lot better. Mario for him, the reason why he got so many fans, not because it's the only reason, says this is one of the big parts of it, is that Mario has been around longer and he's just a fun loving character that has so much variety. But Sonic has so much flashiness that will bring out his series within comic books and TV shows, which is probably why they're still being made today. Now, what I want to see out of everyone else from this is to see if you guys can find any more information and or just join in on this. Like, just tell me any more missing information that I've done or just bring out your ideas. That's the best way I can put it. This is Harrison Runner Jr. And this is me signing off.